Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I'm here to do a Byredo haul. Um, as you guys know, Byredo is one of my favorite uh, perfume houses. Really, really cool. I love the brand. I love everything that they stand for. Um, I go to the store in New York City. It's a beautiful store. It's on Wooster Street in Soho. And a lot of you have been asking, this tattoo that I have is actually the New York City skyline. It's like an EKG. It's really, really cool. It has the Twin Towers right here. It has um, the Statue of Liberty there. Really cool. I love it. So, anyway, the Empire State Building. Really cool. So, anyway, into the review. I have some brand new stuff as well to talk about, which I'm really, really excited. And I also, so let's go ahead and start. Suzanne um, in Byredo is my salesperson. She's amazing. I love her so much. Shout out to Suzanne. I love you so much. So, this is a collective haul. I didn't buy this all at once, so let's talk. So, she sent me a little note. Thank you, Drew. Have a fantastic week. So, let's start out with some older stuff that I accumulated. The first is the Burning Rose candle. Now, Burning Rose is incredible. As you guys know, I love rose-scented everything, just like this candle. This is the scent that they burn in the Glossier showrooms. Burning Rose. It has the black wax. Let me tell you, this smells incredible. I've never smelled anything like this. It says, there's nothing demure about this rose. She has spent nights curled up in leather, wrapped in birch leaves, rooted in dark and mysterious woods. Top notes of rose petals, heart notes of leather, rose absolute violet, birch tree, and ebony woods. Now to me, this smells just like a dark, dark red rose not bright red really dark like a damask rose and damask roses are obviously really deep and dark and then you lit it on fire not burnt burning just like the name it smells like it's actually burning really cool scent i have not ventured into the glossier boutique yet or in the showroom i really want to i'm planning a trip to new york just to go to the glossier boutique but this candle I can picture what it's like. I haven't burned it yet, but it smells like heaven. It's awesome. I love it so much. Kind of pricey. It's $80, but it's an awesome candle. I love the Burning Rose. Now on to some exciting stuff. I got two perfumes when I was in New York. The first one is... Bibliotech. Now, if you remember my Bibliotech candle that I love, they made it limited edition in a perfume. You cannot get this anymore, um, I believe. Could be wrong, but I think it's sold out. Uh, it was only online and in the boutique, and I believe it is sold out. The regular perfumes are $230. This is $255. So it looks like this. Bibliotech. One spray is enough to bathe the neck in the atmosphere of a world suspended in time. A world of old books, the scent of the of their leather-bound pages arranged on dark wood shelves. Bibliotech is our most popular candle. In response to endless requests, Bibliotech is appearing as an eau de parfum for a limited time from Ben Gorham, the founder of Byredo. I didn't click on the notes when I saved the description, but it smells like a library so really crisp leather books but then it has the weirdest like a smoked plum like a smoked plum and juicy peaches like a peach jam it's very sweet oh i love this fragrance so much and when i was in the boutique suzanne actually told me spray this and then spray Rose of No Man's Land on top, which is one of my personal favorites from Byredo. I did it. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at something real quick. It's not even on the list. Okay. I'm just trying to find a description of the next one. But anyway, I did that. Endless, endless compliments on it. Really crazy. Love it so very much. So that's Bibliotech in perfume actually taking it out of the box because i'm putting it out on display with my other byredos beep right there you can see i love myself some byredo one of my favorite brands 
The next one, I'm actually kind of glad that I got when I did because now, I, rumor has it, it's discontinued and on the website, only the body cream is left. So I'll be sad if it is. It's pulp. Uh, every time I smell this in the boutique, I'm like, I love it, I love it, I love it. Got some samples of it, fell in love with it, and I'm like, I need to have this right now. And I went to the boutique, last time I was in New York, and didn't plan on buying anything. I'm like, nope, I'm not buying anything. Maybe a candle, but that's it. I wasn't planning on buying a new perfume. But here she is, Pulp, with the magnetic cap and the B, now that they have the B on the labels uh, on the lids in pulp a compilation of exotic and swedish influences create an in international fruit basket a dramatic composition focused on the idea of ripe sweet shapeless mass of fruit an unruly and intense savor bergamot blackcurrant cardamom fig red apple tra which is a flower cedarwood peach flower and praline to me i pick up on the fig and the peach. I just thought this on top of Bibliotech. I literally just thought that now. I'm going to do it. So Bibliotech. And when anybody says to layer perfumes, spray the one, let it dry, and then spray the other one like right on top. Oh, that smells so good. It brings out the peach in both the Bibliotech and in this. That's really nice. Ah, oh, I love this. So if you can find pulp anywhere, definitely try it because it's definitely worth it. Definitely. Oh, and by the way, when you buy candles from the boutiques, you get matches, which are pretty awesome. Next is a really cool purchase. I've been wanting a travel case for the longest time, but I just never ordered one. Well, now I have it. So right here, by Rado, and it says on the back, leather made in Sweden. So really cool. comes here. So there's a little card. And the card is really cool. It has the older by Rado label. And then it says BG by Rado, which is Ben Gorham with by Rado. And inside, this leather has been made by hand from carefully selected materials and or wait selected materials any marks or irregularities are a natural feature of the skin with time and use the color and texture of your leather product may change avoid direct sunlight and water if soil do not rub with water or coarse material for further care and advice please contact a byredo representative or leather specialist byredo necessary day voyage or Voyage, is a collection of leather goods and accessories developed specifically to meet the needs of the frequent traveler. Combining functionality with timeless simplicity, these essential items allow you to effortlessly take your Byredo fragrance wherever you are or wherever you go. Each piece bearing the necessary label is a testament to Byredo's dedication to craftsmanship and quality. All products are handmade with the finest quality leather. So, I was like, It was like a different scent that I never heard of. What am I talking about? I'm losing it. Ignore exactly what I said. I was debating between the black and this, and then Suzanne's like, Drew, this is going to turn a beautiful patina, and it sold me. So this is called Natural. Now it's extremely light. Now the one in this, whoops, almost broke it. And the one in the store is very dark because it patinas over time because it's real leather. So there's that. It says, I'm just going to clean this off. It says, Byredo Necessary De Voyage, or De Voyage, right there. So, it has a magnetic cap, just like the Byredo perfumes. Now, you might notice, it doesn't have anything in it. Haha. -ha. You can add inserts into them, and I got Mojave Ghost. Now, I was going to get the same one, like one of the perfumes that I had to travel with, but I'm like, eh. I want to take a new one because I want to experience all kinds of new perfumes. And this is next on my list. It smells so good. Mm. So how it works is you pop this off. You take these. You slide it in. Now you might be like, wow, it doesn't fit. It is a tight fit. It's supposed to be. And then it 
turns right on. And it literally, sorry, my computer went to sleep like it always does. And it literally doesn't look like it fits on. It only fits on one way, the right way. So it lines up with the binding. But it's so cool to keep this in your bag. And it's awesome. I really, really, really like it. It's pretty awesome. Now the description for Mojave Ghost. The soulful beauty of the Mojave Desert is as comforting to many as it is hostile to others. In this exeric, X-E-R-I-C, I don't know how to pronounce that, wilderness, is a rare species dares to blossom above this baked hard ground. Its pale, almost translucent petals suggest a delicate, fragile state. Mojave Ghost is a woody composition with a light and graceful character that slowly discloses its true intensity. Top notes of musky amber or ambrette, combined with sweet ja Jamaican nest berry, delicate violet then unfurls to reveal a soft lingering sandalwood brightened with fresh magnolia. Finally, warm Chantilly musk rounds out a base of crisp amber and elegant cedarwood, leaving the spirit of Mojave Ghost to linger on the skin. Now, I also have it in a hand cream that I really, really like, but it smells so different. Like, I've never smelled anything like it. I don't like violet at all. Like, and the spray's really nice. I don't like violet, but it smells a little violet, and sandalwood is what I get in the magnolia. So a really bright flower. I really, really like this. Really impressed by this really cute little travel size. Now, speaking of travel, because I have more travel items, obviously, These are the exciting ones. I don't know where my little paper went. Here it is. I bought two of the Kabukis. Now, Kabuki are these guys. Brand new. Just came out this week. I got one in Gypsy Water and one in Balde Afrique. One of Balde Afrique. So, comes off. The B for Byredo. There it is. Remove cap and slide down the protective cover. Press button at the bottom of Kabuki perfume to release perfumed powder. The first use, tap the product firmly, holding brush face word, facing upwards, and press button repeatedly, approximately 20 times, until powder appears. Repeat necessary steps. Apply to skin. Now, apply to skin does not mean apply to your face. It's perfume. You don't want to put it on your face. So the packaging looks like this. It's gorgeous. And by the way, this this is $120 for the travel. So this pops open like this. Slides down. I've already been using this, but you press the button. Put it on. So it's, it's a really neat concept. And it smells like the perfume. Really cool, really awesome travel size. Travel, like not just awesome travel size, awesome travel item. I think it's really, really nifty. So the Gypsy Water, the description is, this is their number one scent, by the way. It's not my favorite scent. That's why I got it in this, so I can really experience it and see what it's like. Gypsy Water is a glamorization of the Romery lifestyle based on a fascination with the myth. The scent of fresh soil, deep forests, and campfires evokes the dream of a free, colorful lifestyle close to nature. Bergamot, juniper berry, lemon, pepper, incense, orris, pine needle, amber, sandalwood, and vanilla. To me, I smell the juniper berries, the lemon, the pepper, and the pine needles. So it's very green, has a bright lemon, but it has this warm juniper with a spiciness, which is the pepper. It's really, really awesome. I'm super excited to, to use that. And then the other one, same packaging, is Baldafrique. This is one that I've always been interested in. A warm and romantic vetiver inspired by Paris in the late 20s and its infutation with the African culture, art, music, and dance. A mix of Parisian avant-gardeism and African culture shaped a unique and vibrant expression. This intense life, the excess and euphoria, is illustrated by Balda Freak's Neroli, African Marigold, and Moroccan Cedarwood. 
So it has the marigold in it, just like uh, Gypsy Water, or just like um, Mojave Ghost does. Now, I have not primed this yet, so this will be the first time with you. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So you can actually see. I'm just trying to. So you can see the powder coming. There we go. So, this smells really clean, but it's really nifty. So, African marigold, bergamot, buchu, lemon, lemon, neroli, cyclamen, jasmine, petals, violet, black, amber, Moroccan, cedarwood, musk, and vetiver. It has so many different... It's so weird I'm smelling a brush. It's like, what's he doing smelling a makeup brush? It's not a makeup brush. It's a perfume brush. Really cool smell. It's super, super fresh. I have, like, all these smells on me right now. But, yeah, it's, like, really fresh. I pick up on the lemon and the marigold. Really bright. Really excited for this guy. And those are 65, by the way, for the Kabukis. But, anyway, that was my video. Please call the boutique. I'll put the link or I'll put the link to byradar.com, and then I'll put the phone number to the boutique. Call. Ask for Suzanne. Tell her that Drew, you know, you watched my video and you really liked it. Or maybe you didn't like it and still want to order. I don't know. Let her know. Um... Yeah, she's an awesome person, and definitely get her or Penny, the manager. They're really, really sweet. Just let them know, and I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy. Bye.